From Deutschland AG to Wall Street Incorporated, an analysis of ownership ties between German-listed large companies and their investors. In the 20th century, banks and insurance companies were the primary investors in large German companies. Before World War I, German industry was mainly financed by eight major banks. Even after World War II, some banks remained influential, but also large insurance companies such as Allianz and Munich Re, acquired large equity stakes in German companies. There were three reasons for the power of the banks. First, immediately after World War II, financial markets were not functional. Marshall Plan funds were transferred to companies mainly through the banks. That is why large German companies were so dependent on bank loans. Second, the banks held large ownership stakes in companies. These shares gave them voting rights at the shareholders' meetings. In addition, the banks were also able to exercise voting rights on behalf of their customers, who typically deposit their shares at the banks. Third, many bankers were on the company's supervisory boards. An extreme example was Hermann Josef Abs, CEO of the Deutsche Bank. In the early 1960s, Abs sat in up to 30 supervisory boards at the same time, and 20 of them as chairperson. The basis for the power of the German banks and insurance companies was their many investments. They formed a dense network of capital ties. This example shows the network of investments between the 100 largest companies in 1976. The three big banks, Deutsche Bank, Dresdner Bank and Commerzbank, are clearly visible in the center. However, two insurance companies, Allianz and Munich Re, were also influential. In the scientific debate, this network was called Deutschland AG. In the 1980s, Deutschland AG was often judged critically. The accumulation of power in the hands of bank managers was seen as problematic. This point of view was shown in book titles such as Die Macht der Banken, i.e. the power of the banks, or Wie Gott in Frankfurt, like God in Frankfurt. However, other observers, especially from abroad, viewed Deutschland AG in a more positive light. From their point of view, the close ties offered companies effective protection against hostile takeovers. This allowed companies and banks to pursue long-term strategies. In the 1990s, Deutschland AG began to dissolve. There were several reasons for this. One reason is that banks became more interested in investment banking. Activities such as derivatives trading and advising companies on mergers and acquisitions appeared to offer higher profits than the traditional banking business. Financial market supervision also played an important role. The dependence of bank and insurance companies on equity markets was seen as a threat to economic stability after the bursting of the Internet bubble. The dissolution of Deutschland AG was also reinforced by new regulations. Tax benefits for the sale of large equity stakes created financial incentives for banks to sell their shares. The maximum number of multiple supervisory board mandates was reduced by law and proxy voting rights were restricted. How has the ownership structure on the German capital market developed since then? Does Deutsche AG still exist? To answer this question, we analyzed data for the period from 2005 to 2015. The ownership structure of 124 of the largest companies listed on the German stock exchange is analyzed. Equity stakes of 3% or more are taken into account. The small gray circles symbolize companies that do not invest in other companies in the sample. Green and orange circles, on the other hand, represent investors. Green represents German investors, while foreign investors are colored orange. The size of the colored circles shows how much capital an investor has invested. The arrows symbolize investments. The arrow points from the investor to the company in which they invest. Red represents investments that have just been sold. The new investments are blue. Let us look at the evolution of these investments over time. In 2005, the largest investors are mainly German institutions. They include the Deutsche Bank, Allianz, and the state-owned Kreditanstalt für Wiederaufbau, KFW. Foreign investors, such as the Capital Group, are also present in the German capital market.
Franklin, Axer, and Berkeley. In 2006 and 2007, more foreign investors with extensive investments appear on the German capital market. The most noticeable change, however, is the rapid growth of the capital group, which in 2006 became one of the largest investors on the German stock market. During the financial crisis of 2008-2009, German investors, such as the Deutsche Bank, Commerzbank and Allianz sold off significant equity holdings. At the same time, other foreign investors entered the German capital market. BlackRock in particular took advantage of the low prices following the financial market crisis and became a large-scale investor in Germany. In the following years, the Deutsche Bank's investments recovered somewhat. This development was, however, hardly significant in light of the great increase in foreign investments. After the initial financial crisis in the years 2010 to 2014, many foreign investors expand their portfolios, as shown by the growth of orange circles. Franklin Templeton Investment and Norges Bank, as well as other non-German asset managers, enter the German market. The importance of German financial companies decreases year by year as can be seen from the shrinking green circles. Among the German investors, the KFW and to a lesser extent Allianz are still important. But the real heavyweights are now investors from abroad, especially BlackRock, the Capital Group and the Qatari Sovereign Wealth Fund. Let us return to our original question. Has Deutschland AG been replaced by Wall Street Incorporated? Allianz and Deutsche Bank, which once formed the center, only play a subordinate role on the German stock market in 2015. The KFW still appears to be a big investor. But in fact, the KFW only holds shares in three companies, Airbus, Deutsche Post, and Deutsche Telekom. By comparison, foreign investors like BlackRock and the Capital Group are widely spread on the German capital market. They hold large investments in many companies. In conclusion, Deutschland AG no longer exists. The German stock market is now dominated by Wall Street Incorporated. The new question is, what kind of influence do these investors have on companies?